<laughs> awesome, man. Two new boxes to unveil to the RC Adventure viewers today. Caution. 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 There are lithium, uh, lithium batteries in here. Five uh, S lipos. Oh, they're five S boxes. Yeah, not just a battery. Even though this is quite a large box, it's a battery plus. What are they powering? Well, uh, my friend Scott from Streamline RC has come up with a genius jet boat design. So we've seen something large. Yes, we've been following uh, their adventure on Kickstarter. I'm gonna leave a link to their Kickstarter in the video description box down below. You can go and check out these brand new jet boats. Uh, and Scott actually had sent in a video to uh, have us play for you guys so you can find out a little bit more about it. It's best to leave it to him to say it. Yeah, let's uh, let's roll the video. Hey, Medic Scott Finestri with Streamline RC. Hey, I am so excited to send you a couple boats. We've been talking about our project Thrasher. It has been an absolute blast. For the last 18 months, we've really put together an amazing boat. We're just moving into our production phase right now, and we've got a couple pre-production boats that we'd want to send to you. I'm so excited to see what you do with these boats. They are absolutely amazing, and I'm telling you, fast, nimble, tough. They're gonna be terrific to run through streams, take off jumps, just race across the lake, whatever it is you wanna do with them. The thing about Thrasher is it kinda of takes the idea of going out and bashing with your RC off-road truck and moves it onto the lake. So you can hit jumps, you can roll, you can bounce off of uh, shallow uh, stream beds. All that stuff's possible with Thrasher. It wasn't before. So I think we've started into something brand new with this new project. And I know, certainly myself, I absolutely love piloting a Thrasher. I find it to be so much more exciting than any other RC boat that I've piloted before. So we're really loving it. I can't wait to get you a couple boats. I can't wait to see what you do with a couple boats. Um, I've just put together a special boat for you that I want to share with you right now. This is a uh, unique, one-of-a-kind, one-off, RC Sparks Thrasher. So this is one of a kind. This one won't be available in production. We've made it custom just for your show. And I can't wait to see you uh, have some fun with it. Now you can't baby it just because it looks pretty. I sure want you to go out and have a great time with it. So there it is there. And if we let it show off here a little bit, maybe we'll just give it a couple hits. <laughs> Oh yeah, she, she's ready to go. Well, we don't want to scratch her up too bad though. So it's on our way to you. Can't wait to see what you do with it. I know as usual, it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. And now it's going to be one of our products. So that makes it even more fun and exciting. Thanks, Medic. We'll talk to you soon. Can't wait to see the videos. TV magic. <laughs> Okay, so now they've uh, they've seen it. They've seen it now. They know what it is, and we don't know which box is which here. Nope. Uh, you may have the the RC Sparks boat. I might, or I may have the RC. And if Sparks. I get it, I'm keeping it. So the deal was, I said Everett, come on over. He gets one of these boats, so we can go out jet boating anytime we want to. Shall we? Let's do this. Let's find out what's in there. Propri proprietary pump in here. Scott says. He explained uh, it to us and it sounded amazing. Yeah. Good thing he's a mechanical engineer. A hydrostatic bearing, uh, a rebuildable pump. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I won the lottery. And the box swapping worked. That's hilarious. It totally. Yeah. <laughs> we switched the boxes around off camera. You guys can't see it yet. Obviously, I've got the flame boat in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. this one's a red and white one. Uh, for Team Red, man. Team Red. Let's, we should show this off a little more first. Let's pull or... them both out. Okay, so these are the extra parts he was saying that he had sent for me, which is nice. Yes, we are super lucky to get these right out of the right out of the factory. In fact, these are the first ones ever shipped out. Fly Sky, the FSGT2E. Already bound, thanks to Scott for testing these, so knowing that we would unbox it and go straight at it. Huge Max Amps battery right here for each, so we have max battery power. How do you open it? Ah, uh, here's the other part Scott was talking about. So the impellers, 
Oh. Yeah, so just in case we ran into any problems out here or we're trying to beat on the boat too hard. Can I see? Can I see? Can I see? Can I see? Absolutely, absolutely. It's cool. They're all, it's a complete new design. Yeah, impellers. Right, amazing. We're gonna try and have Scott on the show one day so he can actually explain how his new boats work and what makes them so different. Apart from being made right in the USA, keeping, keeping the design work in his own country. Wow. This is a self-riding boat as well, did you know? Yeah, it's what we, uh, we're finding out today, which the self-riding mechanism sounds genius. Look at that. <laughs> wow, Scott. Man, that is amazing. This is the first time I'm seeing it in person. Look at the flame job. So cool. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. That hmm. inlet is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so those that don't know, water actually gets sucked in here. And of course, through the pumps blown out the back through that impeller that we just showed you, as well as the servo itself will change the direction of the jet turning the boats. That is killer. Yeah, buddy, show, go up and show your boat there, will you? Here, I was hogging the camera. No way. Yeah. Dun, so dun, dun, dun. those are the stock decals of the Thrasher. Ooh. Lots of area for stickers on there, hey? Keeping your boat bright and easy to it see. feels buoyant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and they're tested. That's the beautiful thing Scott was saying, is that he wants to test every single boat before it goes out. Get, are we gonna open it up, have a look? Ta-da! Oh, look at the motor! Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Okay. Check out the motor. <laughs> Looks like a 160 amp ESC. Wow. Did you say 160? Yeah, I think so. 160. By Streamline wow, RC. Streamline that. RC. Water jacket. Everything. The receiver. The ESC. Everything has already been coated in water sealant. Everything on the inside is waterproof. That is such a clean, nice interior. Holy. Did you know that this operates on a vacuum and actually has a pump that pumps out any internal water that gets in here? Yeah, and that's how the self-writing is supposed to work too, I think he was saying, yep. right? So he was saying that the top part is actually vented. So vented because the, the way the whole vacuum works on it, and when it actually flips upside down, as it's sitting in the lake, after one minute, the water will work its way in around the venting and it will actually flip the boat like that. And then shoot it back out after. And then shoot all the water out. Genius, it's yeah. just genius. I can see a challenge in a fast moving river. I would be doing some swimming. Running with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> running with it. Guys, we're kind of speechless right yeah. now. Our first that, impression. The jet drive system in there just is looks a cool. monster. The jet drive system is a monster. Oh, you can see where it'll grab the water, the sensor upside down here. Ah, uh -huh. that's what that is there. That's exactly it. And then it shoots it out the back. Wow, feel that tubing, man. It's not like your standard oh, yeah. plastic tubing. It's like a rubber. Okay, wow. so there that we go. So cool. <laughs> Amazing. Turn them on. Turn them yeah, on. We gotta turn them on. <laughs> Shall we take them out right now, or do you want to make them wait until the next video? I know, slap me. <laughs> Let's get out there. <laughs> Do you see my dumbfounded face? <laughs> the fins. What are you noticing? Oh, it's just the whole interior yeah. is 3D printed and the <laughs> jet drive and everything. Yep, the jet drive and the fins on the side. Amazing what 3D printers can do these it's days. It's incredible. <laughs> and you can tell it's such quality 3D printed too. Yeah. Like compared to what was coming out five years ago, this is just... Yeah, hands down amazing. It's insane to see this. <laughs> even the, it's even cool how the uh, the servo mount slides in and out of the jet drive itself. Yep. There, you can see I like see it's it. the way it slides up and down. In. Yeah, amazing. 
So one of the things and the reasons why we even go for a uh, jet drive system is so you don't have a propeller on the outside. You can run in shallows, you can run in creeks and streams. You don't have to worry about breaking it. And right now they're actually working on a design where they've got a protector for this jet drive system, right? Oh, cool. Yeah, well when you're going upstream and you hit a rock and you kind of knock this right. off, well then you're kind of yeah. up the creek. <laughs> <laughs> but um bum But um bum So Shh. a lot of us, like on the little Terran two boats, will actually make a protector there. So same on the front, but they've made this bottom part thicker than the top, right? This Lexan on, or it's not Lexan, pardon me, but this uh, plastic on top is thinner. And this down here, like you said two in the piece video. Two-piece design, eh? Two-piece, yeah, is made to take a pounding. Have you, you've seen the videos of them jumping these yeah, boats. Yeah, I have. We have to make a jump. We can't do yeah. it today, but we're making a jump in yeah. the future. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's thrash the thrashers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? I get tired watching them. What are we doing today? Yeah. We're going boating. We're going boating. The other thing I notice about the boat, or rather you notice that I like, is that it's flat. Yeah, it sits flat. Yeah, it sits flat. There's no rolling yeah. from side to side. Jem in the background doing. Bonjour. Little Morris here for the uh, maiden voyage of the Thrasher. The Thrasher. Yep, make sure my radio's oh, on. Mo, no. Yeah, are you gonna yeah. use your boat on there too, Mo? Mo will love this. Doodle loop. Music to my ears. I love it when our perfect plan comes together. <laughs> These are pretty cool boats. Doodle loop. <laughs> It's a sick boat. <laughs> That's a good sound, Mo. Testing, everything looks good. Oh, man, I can't wait. I can't In wait. In the water. Oh, my God, boys. Okay, just for the record, guys, I'm the only one who wore rubber boots to the lake <laughs> today. And I'm sinking. Seriously, boys. <sighs> All right, comments this. while you were walking. Ready? No boat. Let's yep. do it. No boat. Nice. No boat. Ooh, they turn sharp. Boat. Yeah, they do no. turn sharply. No! Whee! Bring it right in and away we go! Wow, it's because of windy right quick if you wanted to. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Turns? Yeah, wow. It turns super sharp. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Mo? These are going to be great in the canal. Oh, spun out that time. These are awesome! <laughs> I'm going slow, just to bring her in there. Yeah, that looks amazing. Look at gotta, James I, Bond. Forget you gotta be fully on throttle to turn. <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> wow! Yeah, doing the same turn you are, coming around. Wow! Coming into some chop. Whoa! Cool. <laughs> How are they to drive, guys? Very <laughs> responsive. Fun. Yeah, very responsive. Oh, look at the little minnows. Wow. For a jet drive, that's shocking. Yeah, that's cool. Flat water is nice. The chop sucks yeah. in a little air yeah, just like on the creek. I think we should do a one, two, go again. You want to race again? Yeah. Let's race towards us. Okay. Okay, Morris, you got to call it though, bud. Nice. That boat looks so slick. You got her, buddy. You go. You get a. You get a mowing. You um, ready? Yeah. Okay, Let's Morris, go Three, call it. Two, go. Wow. Pretty cool. Let's try the canal. Just churning up the water. Fun. What do you think, boys? I think it's time to go in the canal. I don't want to stop playing. <laughs> Okay, so Jem and Little Morris have gone back to uh, the ranch uh, because we decided to come out to a little weir area. 
We have an idea. Scott, you built this boat to be a basher. We're gonna put it to the test in the first video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he thinks he wants to put his boat in here. Now, we know that the jets operate on moving water, not air, but on this side, everything is nice and calm where it's got an inlet right in the middle. And since you've built this boat with a self-riding feature on it, we're gonna go ahead and put it in there. All of the electronics are waterproof. We're gonna find out right now. <laughs> this is really what uh, these jet boats are intended for, to be highly responsive, to have enough power to go up a creek or a stream. In our case today, a canal. Getting into position. How's it feeling there, Ev? Yeah, it feels pretty awesome. <laughs> I think we should uh, take it over the weir. Yeah, you want to take it through? Yeah. Okay, let me uh, get the camera ready. Are you going to go straight through, or are you, like, you going to drive right underneath? First time I'm going to drive right through. Straight yeah. through. Okay, then I'll stay with you on this side. My beautiful boat is staying right there. <laughs> okay, there's the rushing water. Good luck, Ev. Thanks, bro. Built for durability. Let's give her a go. Oh, yeah. Hey, you are. down and it rolled over again. Beautiful. <laughs> Is it any response? Hopefully it turns around here. There you go. Awesome man, it went through perfectly. <laughs> That's for you Scott. Your vision has become a reality. So Everett wants to try to fight his way back upstream. I think it's going to be a challenge, but that's exactly what happens in a stream. And it's making it. It's making huge progress. Check it out. Nice, that 5S LiPo working hard. Oh, it gets spit back out. <laughs> because these boats have been built to be completely submersible, you can build jumps. You can completely put them under the water and they'll come back up to the top. Any water on the inside of the boat automatically gets expelled. Look at this, powering its way up. Right on the crest. Very cool, man. Oh, look at that. How's the power? Uh, it's all right. It gets lots of air though, right? Yeah, when it gets lots of air. <laughs> well, this is extreme. The camera doesn't even do it justice, man. In scale. Yeah, on the side. There is a way to do it. Right there, right there. Oh, nice try. You're almost out, bro. Nice job. Oh. Trying to make his way up. Oh, we're going. Oh, and he gets spit upside down. And right side up, and look at that. What do you think? I think that was so much fun. <laughs> I want to do more. <laughs> <laughs> look at, you can even see how quick the water is rushing past you now. Yeah, I want to try and go up it again. I think I can get it up there. From a different angle, hey? Yeah. There it is down there. But I think it's gonna be very, very challenging. That water is moving very fast, but if he can crest somewhere up there, he should be able to power through. It's just the suction of the water through here is so great, and as soon as it gets you, over and over he goes. Water? Feels Let's pretty see. heavy. Uh, is it? Well, you were tumbling quite a bit, hey? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's okay. So supposedly, we should have been able to, if we ran that longer, uh, the water would have come out on its own. 
from the way it, the way it gets pumped, from what I understand. Yeah. But I think the that tumble. Was quite a bit, though. Well, and it's forced water, right? That's what we're talking about with the, the running water there. Sweet. All right. Well, just like they say, always bring it back and check for water, right? You never know when yeah, you're taking on a lot. Yeah, that was pause time for sure after that torture we just put it through. <laughs> Come on, well, well it did though. My turn. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Giving her a whirl. All right, Scott, this is for you, buddy. <laughs> it's fighting, it's trying. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Oh. So awesome. Oh, oh no. So powerful. <laughs> Oh man, that's got to get emptied. <laughs> Let's bring her over to the side. Whee! That was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to try and float backwards into it now. <laughs> yeah, that I bet that's submarine like six times at least. Look at that. <laughs> you know what? That's what I get for that kind of current though. You know what? That was so much fun though. Yeah, it was literally hopping out like it Yeah, like a, it was a salmon oh, going wow. up the river to spawn. All right. Woo! Get! Man, I could use something for my thumb that would help me control <laughs> this better. <laughs> Could be using Hoi Fab's controller right now, but like an idiot, I forgot it. Don't want to suck any algae into that impeller. I get it. Thanks, bro. It's a good looking boat, man. It sure is. It's really fun to steer with. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, it's very responsive steering. Like the two jet streams of water out the back. But dump. go play over there yeah I guess hey shall we go and try to see who goes over the edge or what yep nice okay <laughs> oh, can't see it either can't see anything uh, you can from over here right here you're about to go through Riding the wave, 
buddy. Oh, that oh, hit me! <laughs> I'm gonna go down onto the step here. Oh, and I'm in a bad spot. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, on the edge. Oh, oh, oh loser! <laughs> uh oh, where's my boat? There it is. There it is. Oh, nice, and it righted itself. That is tough. Once you get caught in that current, that is it. All right, let's go. I was right on the hill, right on the hill. Let's try it again here, man. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, oh we're gonna get look up at that. Yeah. You wrote it. <laughs> That's all win, buddy. Good job. What were you saying before we started? That you couldn't do it. <laughs> that it could not be done. I see Gem in the background. I'm gonna drive through this time. I like how it doesn't actually turn on an arm until you turn your radio on. Everything has been going along the plan today. It's been great. Uh, we did the uh, weir battle. Uh, Everett, of course, wins that one. He had the power to stay on the edge and to climb. What's your first impression of the boat, buddy? Probably the funnest boat I've used for fun factor. Good job, Scott. Thanks for sending in the boats. We hope we did you proud and put the thrasher to the test. We'll have to take him to the mountains. We're going to take him up to the mountains next time. Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in to today's RC adventure. If you want to find out more about the Streamline RC jet boat, please check out the video description box down below and leave a comment if you love jet boats or boats in general. Yeah? Yeah, tell us what you got. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, good idea. Or if you're going to be getting a thrasher. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I need one of these. Yeah, well, <laughs> thrasher. <laughs> Bye.